Okay, uh, welcome back. So this is this problem is going to be. This is basically just the short plug for USAMTS, just because. Um, why not? So um, in this problem, I'm given a giant hexagonal grid. Looks like the one in Figure One. Um, and the first thing I have to do is do the really difficult task of counting how many cells it has. Uh, so. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, there appear to be 10 rows. Great, okay. And you fill them in in such a way such that for every upwards pointing triangle, the three numbers are either all the same or all different. Is that the... Yeah, all the same or all different. And you want to show that if you do this, then the gray cell... Um, um, yeah, the, the gray thing is... Uh, all different. So, um, <sighs> I feel a little weird now because I I happen to um, here. Uh, so I don't know if you guys have played this game before. It, it was pretty really popular when I was a student. I think people still play it. But um, there's a game that looks called Set, and it looks like this. Um, where you need to. Um, it's also the same thing where. You have sets of cards, and uh, yeah, you you want to find like, you know, for example, the numbers should be all the same or all different, and it's also out of three. And the key observation, if you want to do combinatorics in set, is the following um, really beautiful lemma, which states that lemma um, three numbers x y z in one two three are balanced if and only if. Uh, x plus y plus z is 0 mod 3. <laughs> so in other words, the condition is saying that um, if you look at everything mod 3 in each row, every entry is the sum of the two things below it. So it's sort of like Pascal's triangle but upside down. Okay. Uh, so with that said, um, Let's let the bottom row be A1 through... Uh, let, let's do 0 through 9 just so that... Why not? In order. Then the next row is A0 plus A1. Uh, A1 plus A2. A8 plus A9. And then the what row after that is... Uh, oh crap, but I have to actually... Okay. So basically, you'll, you'll get binomial coefficients is what's happening, right? Like, so it's 1, 2, 1, um, A1 plus A2 plus A3, um, A7 plus 2A8 plus 2A9. Uh, oh, negative of that? Uh, crap, so yes, sorry, sorry, yes, negative. Uh, uh, yes, okay, okay. And third to bottom row. Okay, so if you repeat this, eventually you'll get the tenth row um, is whatever. So sum. So the pattern continues with binomial coefficients. So for example, if you did the next one, you would get one, three, three, one as the coefficients. And finally, the the tenth, the top row entry will be given exactly by the sum of nine choose k. Um, from k equals 0 to 9 uh, negated of a sub k. And 9 choose k is divisible by 3 for every k. You can check this either if you want to just compute it by hand, you could. Um, it also follows from, I don't know. In general, if you're, if, if you're top of binomial coefficient is a prime power, everything's divisible by that prime. Just pro tip. Um, yeah, so Modulo 3, this is actually um, minus A0 plus I9. As desired. <laughs> and we're done! Okay. Um, yeah, very cool. Um, yeah, so um, perks of playing set is that if you have thought a lot about set, you get this problem really quickly. <laughs> uh, I don't know, okay. It happened. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I, I feel like I'm cheating a little in the sense that, like, I've basically, because I've seen this result, like, the problem is this result, so I've just seen it before. Um, but here we go. Um, 